today, we're going to eat a little guacamole. Does that sound okay with everybody? Yeah. All right. See here in front of me, I have all my ingredients. The guacamole, as I'm sure you know, comes from Mexico, just like the avocado. Did you know, you may not know, the avocado was once known as the alligator pear. First things first, you've got to have good avocados. I mean, that's really pretty much it. Everybody here familiar with buying avocados? Anybody not know how to pick a good avocado? Yeah, well, probably not. So first things first, you're gonna give it a little squeeze. And as you can see there, that just gives just a very small amount, which means this thing's ready to go. I look under the seed. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll have a nice green color in there. And if it's green in there, then that's then you're double sure that your avocado is gonna be really, really good. So let's cut into it and see if our see if our uh, factors turned out to be true. Because sometimes you get a soft avocado and you open it up and it's got brown streaks through it. That means it's a little bit overripe. That doesn't mean you can't eat it. It means it's still delicious. It just means that when you make your, your guacamole, you're gonna doctor it a little bit differently. Now, the seed. Best way to get the seed out is not to squeeze it because it'll fly across the room, land on the floor, and slide forever. So basically, you wanna take the heel of your knife right here, just kinda give it a little dig and then twist and it'll pop right out. Just keep it going. Now I'm going to show you another way to do it. Okay, oh man, these are going to be good. Really smooth. Okay, so what's making the avocado smooth? Oil. A avocado is actually a fruit. It's considered a berry and it, it has a high concentration of its own precious oil. And when it's ripe, it is hard to beat. I love the flavor of avocados all by themselves. However, you know, if you want to impress your friends, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, if you want to do something a little more, I don't know, gourmet, then you start adding stuff like tomato, onion. Here's an interesting note about onions when you're dealing with Mexican food. All right, if you're trying to be true to Mexican food, there really is only one kind of onion. That's white onion. Uh, these Roma tomatoes today, really, they were the right thing I could find. So about a tomato, this is one tomato, you could do more. The beautiful thing about guacamole is you can really make it your own. So what I like to do with the cilantro is I will serve it, sort of, I leave it on the side for people to sprinkle on if they want to. 